Welcome back. A local scientist says the growing disregard for the importance of science has him concerned. But he hopes to change that with a podcast. Jessica Duarte took a listen to find out more. Professor of Biology and Ecotoxicology Frank Von Hippel says he's a frequent podcast listener himself. But it was the recent criticisms of science as a whole that made him want to start his own. I got concerned with the Trump administration attacks on science and thought, what could I do about this in terms of educating people about the importance of science? It's called the Science History Podcast, and it's just what the name suggests, a podcast about all things science and the history behind big discoveries. Von Hippel combines his own research with guest interviews to cover a topic in detail. One of the things that I try to do in every episode is, is interweave historical audio into the episode. I'll pause the interview here to play a clip from Churchill's 1949 convocation speech at MIT in which he mentions his lack of a university education. Ladies and gentlemen, I frankly confess that I feel somewhat overawed in addressing this vast scientific and learned audience. Though relatively new, so far it's been getting more than a thousand downloads per episode, with an audience from 54 countries worldwide. And Von Hippel says he'd even like to connect with his listeners in the future, all while learning how to be more social media savvy. It would actually be great to get feedback, so there is a way that, that listeners can comment on episodes, uh, but I'm going to need some help with the younger generation, like my uh, sound editor Cassidy probably can help me with that. By Cassidy, he means film student Cassidy Zimrick. And just like Von Hippel says he will learn from her, she says she has learned from him. And I'm actually learning quite a few things, and I was able to meet some of the people he has brought in for interviews and stuff like that. So it's been really educational. It's been really inspiring, and it's kind of nice to see that it's taken off and gone into what it is today. Zimrick spends 10 hours editing every podcast before it's published online. Von Hippel says the Science History Podcast is aimed at a wide audience, not just scientists. I'm trying to deliver it at a pretty intellectual level, but for any educated person. So it's not for scientists per se. It's for anyone who has an interest in science and an interest in history. Jessica Duarte, NAZ Today. The podcast can be found through any podcasting app or on the website. The next episode drops November 11th.